Do you ever struggle trying to figure out which dividend stock you want to invest in? Well, in this video, I'll take you through one of the ways that I look at narrowing down and I'll give you three dividend stocks that you might want to go and have a quick look at. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Mark of Desperately Seeking Fi. Choosing dividend stocks can be really complex. I tend to look at UK dividend stocks and I tend to look at those that are on either the FTSE 100 or FTSE 250. So that's looking at the top 350 companies within the UK. I'm looking for normally a dividend yield of over 5%. Sometimes I might go a little bit lower, but five's what I'm aiming for. I'm also keen to ensure that they have a good track record of dividend growth. I want to see a little bit of growth in the company as well, because what you don't want to do is have a dividend coming in, but you just have constantly the value of the stock dropping. Another thing that I'm interested in looking at is the dividend payout ratio. So the percentage of the company's earnings that are paid out to its investors as dividend income. So it's reasonably simple. It's dividend payout ratio equals the total annual dividend payment divided by annual earnings. There you go. There's a quick formula. I'm looking at a percentage of something below 75%. Even better if I can get it under 50. And there are lots of different financials that you can go and have a look at. But the main one that I'll have a look at is the debt to equity ratio. This is basically how much debt do you use to actually run your business? And I like to have this at under 80%. All of these things come together. Some of them are more important than others. These are the basic ones that I will have a look at. And there's lots of different places that you can go and get this information from. What I like to do is create a quick spreadsheet, but I also use some tools like Simply Wall Street because I can go in and pick out most of this information from there. But where I actually start off is I go and have a look at the dividend yields for the FTSE 100 and FTSE 250. Task number one done. I've dropped in some of the tickers and I've got about 15 or 16 different stocks in. And I've also dropped in the dividend yield. There are a number of ways of doing this. You can either go and use your brokerage account or you can pull that off something like Dividend Max or DividendData.co.uk. I'll drop links down below to those. Next thing that I want to go and have a look at is the history. Have they been growing dividends over time? Easiest way to find how long they have been growing their dividends for is to go and have a quick look on dividenddata.co.uk, look at the dividend history tab, and then under years of consecutive dividend growth. And this will tell you, have they been growing their dividends for how many years? Some of them will be dividend aristocrats. I've done a quick video on that. And that shows that they have been growing their dividends for more than 25 years. Next thing that we look at that we get from this chart is we can also look at the five-year dividend growth rate. And then I tend to drop this into the spreadsheet. Next thing I like to have a look at is that compound annual growth rate. Go to Google Finance, type in the company that you're looking at. And this is Taylor Wimpy. Click on the five-year chart. That will show you the growth over the past five years. Just divide that by five, and that gives you a quick compound annual growth rate. Drop that into the Google Sheet, and then move on to the next task. Next on the list of things to have a look at is the dividend payout ratio. I like to use Simply Wall Street to do lots of my research and due diligence. There is a link down below where you can test it out for 14 days, see what it's like and see whether or not you're interested in sort of taking out a package. But let's say I want to look at primary health properties. Then I can go and have a quick look at the dividend payout ratio. So that's telling me that 6.4% dividend yield, a payout ratio of 69, and that's below the percentage that I'm looking at of 75. I'll go do all of the other bits of research for the other companies and drop that in. 
Final bit that we then look at is that debt to equity. And once again, Simply Wall Street, really easy to find that. So let's type in the company you want under financial health. You get dropped straight in and the debt to equity ratio is 56.3. I've gone through all of that. There are a number on here that we could go for, but I'm just going to pull out three. We're looking at British American Tobacco, Intermediate Capital Group, and finally, the Renewable Infrastructure Group. Let's have a quick look at the these three companies. First of all, we'll look at British American Tobacco. And I know some people may ethically not want to invest into companies that sell nicotine products. I quite like it because it's got a reasonably steady dividend of 8.52%. And that is probably at the top end of what I'm interested in. We need to be very careful. Really high dividends may be a dividend trap. But in this case, we see steady growth of the dividend over time. And this is a dividend aristocrat. Also, it has seen a dividend grow over the last five years, average of 3.41%. And while the five-year compound annual growth rate is down at minus 5.5%, they are looking at diversifying into other products. Payout ratio is reasonably good within my tolerances at 62% and also debt to equity at 56%. Next on the list is Intermediate Capital Group with a dividend of 6.39%. 13 years of growth as shown on the chart. An ICP is a private equity firm specialising in direct and fund of fund investment. Some of the other good things that we have on Simply Wall Street is it's showing you where it is trading at fair value and sort of giving a earnings forecast for the next year. And actually, it's looking at about 34% growth over the next year or so. That is something that also interests me. Additionally, it's shown a five-year dividend growth being 23%, and then looking at the compound annual growth rate of about 21%, and that's showing that continued growth. Payout ratio at 74%, so just at the very top end of what I like to see. And the one thing that I'm not overly happy with on this is the debt to equity. That might be a red flag, but something to go and have a look at. And finally, looking at Renewables Infrastructure Group, Trig specialises in infrastructure investments and typically looking at investing in those things for the future. How do we generate electricity from renewable sources and looking very much at the onshore and solar photovoltaic parks? Has a decent dividend yield of 5.6%, showing 10 years of dividend growth. It's got a dividend growth over the last five years of 151%, but we've got a compound annual growth rate of about 4.1% and payout ratio sat 32%. So that's really good. Debt to equity, it doesn't show that at the moment. Something to go and do a little bit more research on. There's potentially three dividend stocks to go and have a look at. What do you think of those? Any of those in your portfolio? But there is a different way you could picking up all of these through a dividend ETF. Why don't you have a look at this video? And that might give you some ideas of getting even more diversification. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.